We've all been there. You're trying to decide on a new phone plan, so you whip out your pencil and quickly jot down a system of linear equations. Okay, maybe not. But your 8th grader might, because in 8th grade, students are learning to use systems of linear equations to solve real-world problems. This means that they'll figure out what the unknown numbers x and y are in these equations, and that will tell them which cell phone plan is the better deal. How many texts would they have to send for two plans to cost the same? Eighth graders should be able to get started on their own by writing the equations, as Amanda does here. So first you need your two equations. And could you say what y represents and what x represents? So y represents the amount of money that you're paying per month and x represents the number of texts you send per month. Next, kids use their algebra skills to solve their system of equations, as Colin does here. And since they're both equal to y, I can set them equal to each other. y equals 65. And of course, kids must be able to explain what the solution means in terms of the original problem. So they would have to send 500 texts for their plans to cost the same as $65. So how do you know if your 8th grader can use linear equations to choose your next phone plan? Well, by the end of the year, 8th graders should be able to write a system of equations based on a word problem, solve the system of equations to figure out the unknown numbers, and understand what the solution means in the context of the problem.